Everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamer Dad channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So I'll start off today's video basically, um, you know, giving a caveat regarding some of the conversations that we've been having here. Now, what I usually enjoy doing is I enjoy taking comments and just talking about what some of you here in the community think about specific aspects of the game. So today, the Rob 2D, one of my, uh, my audience members, basically mentioned this regarding my uh, Dark Zone video. And I think there's something really interesting here. He says, doesn't matter what they try. And this is in regard to me talking about the different ways that Ubisoft, Massive and Red Storm tried to draw people into the DZ and the Division 2. And it didn't necessarily seem to uh, you know, work out. And he said it will never be enough to get most people in the DZ. I've played fighting games for many years and it's the same story here. The vast majority of people do not like getting their ass beat. <laughs> his words and refuse to invest time to get better at any kind of PVP. And then and he says, even though I resent that mindset, I do understand. Average guy just wants to come home, um, have a beer and run some PVE, whatever. The problem is devs always trying to make concessions to those people in an attempt to lure them into something they really don't want to do. And it only ever makes the game worse for those that do invest time in it. They need to leave well enough. Um, they need to leave well enough alone. I don't understand this. That the DZ remain needs to remain the DZ, and DZ players will make it what they will, for good or ill. And any new people who are meant to be there will find their way there as it should be. So that's pretty much you know the crux of um, his argument. And I think there's a lot of value here in terms of the entire discussion regarding PVE and PvP. Because, you know, I run the DZ and all I want to do is do the PVE side of it. Like when I'm running around, I make sure that I'm going in there for the least critical thing that's not going to affect me if anything went awry. It's just my own perception in terms of the DZ. And I get it. You know, I've been playing this game, the Division franchise forever. And I can tell you that for me, it's always about the progression. And for me, I'm almost kind of that average guy in a sense. I just happen to like this game a lot. And friends of mine always asked me a lot of questions and I followed the game so closely and I used to tell them everything and they were like, man, you should just start, you know, making a YouTube channel and just talking about this to people. At first, I threw that idea away. I was like, nah, man, why would I want to do that? Next thing you know, I'm enjoying myself doing it. I'm meeting a lot of people in the community and it's actually adding a lot of value to me. And so that's kind of my premise in terms of things. Now, I also play fighting games. In fact, like uh, the Rob 2D, I play Mortal Kombat 11. I don't know if he plays Mortal Kombat 11, but that's the fighting game that I, you know, I've had the opportunity to invest myself in, in this particular season in the past few years. And yes, I do not like losing. I'm a sore loser. And, you know, I've tried my best and I still do to actually get good at the game, to, you know, increase my awareness, to be able to learn, uh, you know, and get better with my reactions. All of those different things are things that I've invested time in and for some reason my psyche is also a little different is that I refuse to master or learn the PvP in the Division 2. I don't know what it is. I think it's maybe from just some of the experiences I had in Division 1 and I kind of thought to myself, man, this is just not worth it because for me pro progress is a big deal. You have to be able to see your progress in different measures. And you know, I already think in my mind that you know, for me to be able to see my progress I need the environment for that progress to be able to show me where I'm weak or show me how I'm improving. The dark zone, on the other hand, in the division does not necessarily care. I mean, and that's the, you know, that's the concept. It is what it is. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in a position where I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just saying it is what it is. The dark zone doesn't care about your progress in a sense. The dark zone is supposed to be that place that really brings chaos. And so for me, looking for order there doesn't really make any sense. And so that's why I've just always kind of snobbed the entire DZ, um, you know, uh, thing in terms of the PvP. In fact, yesterday I went into the Invaded Dark Zone and this one guy goes rogue and I just start running away because I'm like, I don't really want to deal with this nonsense right now, if you get what I mean. And he chased me all around the Dark Zone even into another area where this one guy was also taking care of bad guys. He shoots that bad guy, takes all his stuff, and is still chasing me down. And I'm like, this fool is not going to be satisfied, you know, until he basically kills me. So I run to the checkpoint, it's the invaded dark zone, so he still shoots me. 
And I'm like, all right, you got your, you know, you've proven now that your build is great, that it's good for running, uh, you know, <laughs> I guess. And another set of guys, I think they, they saw that he was rogue and they left. This was, this was like three random guys and they left where they were and they were running my way. And I didn't tell them anything. In fact, I saw that they were, you know, coming. I was looking through the door and I saw their names highlighted and I ran out of DZ and he followed me. And next thing you know, he runs into three guys. And they mow him down. I'm guessing that's a lot of fun. That was fun for me, honestly. Like, yeah, you get what you deserve. That's what that's what you deserve. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, so me, I will tell you that three v ones. Yeah, you know, three people shouldn't gang up on one person. But then at the same time, I'm still here saying, oh, it's so great that these three guys ganked up on this one guy. That's the chaos of the DZ. And because of, like I said, some players just not and that's not necessarily tuned into the mindset that you know they really want to they, re they really don't care much about their you know progress in a sense they enjoy the chaos and they enjoy mastering that chaos it really does appeal to two different levels of uh, two different uh, kinds of players and i think that um side of you know let the dz be what it is and let the other players kind of figure out exactly what it is they want to do if they want to come in the, the dz and enjoy the pvp or the pve or the chaos or whatever let it just you know let players just make it what it is and let the developers not try to appeal to other people out there and i think that's fine you know the dz exclusives didn't necessarily make a big deal because all they decided to finally do in the entire game is to put the game in a position where many items weren't didn't feel too much greater than some other items so it just seemed like the dz would just be your sandbox that's basically what they ended up doing with the division two remember the holloman mask used to be one of the more powerful masks in terms of a run and gun build but it was a phantom mask and it was a dz exclusive well the dz was much hotter when there were more people playing the game so even if you found a holloman mask the next thing was to probably go out there and find four of your friends to help you extract in that case because there's no way you would take that holloman mask and go pop an extraction are you crazy <laughs> maybe you've lost your mind you will get mowed down and even the people that mow you down will probably fight over that hollow man mask in terms of killing themselves and trying to get it and so many people just necessarily didn't see that as something fruitful some people enjoyed it and i think that's where you know the two sides stand in terms of it so i think at the end of the day they've resolved that question for a lot of people they've made it where you could still have really decent builds without needing all of the items from the DZ. But I have to say, another thing too, is some of us like to collect. And so what I've been doing is I've just been making my way into DZ and collecting the things that I've been missing. I think for me, the apartment um, was what I was missing in terms of some of the weapons. And I finally got myself to in a chaotic dark zone where there were people. And that's the thing, you know, you just go in there and be like, well, I probably will never use the apartment. I probably will never get a max rolled one. Let me get my hands on a crappy one and then eventually start using it. So I really enjoy these conversations that we have here in the community. The Rob 2D, appreciate your comment. I feel like there's a lot of value there because, you know, like you said, you know, it depends on what people would like to play. And for me, which is crazy, I decide that I, you know, I want to go ahead and just master fighting games. I'm really enamored by it. It's insane. You guys can, you know, if you know any fighting game players in this community that I've talked to, they're like, man, this guy or even non-fighting game players. You know, they know that I really do enjoy fighting games. In fact, I think I took a break from Division 1 time and I was actually stream sniping a, a YouTuber that used to play the Division 2 that was playing Mortal Kombat 11. I was stream sniping them <laughs> and I beat them in a game. It's actually fun, but I don't want to make a video about it, but I do want to make a video at the same time. But eh, it's not really a big deal. But anyways, I love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about the DZ and how it's basically been separated in a sense? And by all means, I know people probably take shots at people that don't want to do DZ in the, you know, DZ PVP. But, you know, you got to understand that there is a mindset that somebody just wants to come back from work and not deal with all the shenanigans and just wants to enjoy the game. So they'd rather just go engage in PVE while some don't necessarily care. They just want to master the chaos. And that's where the fun is for them. I guess we see ourselves on different sides of you know the same book because we are division agents at the end of the day talk to me i'll talk to you all soon thanks for watching peace out